morning and welcome to Kantipur TV HD. You're watching Kantipur Yoga and I am Zayan. In today's episode, today we will be practicing a nice flow, a gentle core workout. So core workout is going to be very gentle, very slow, very well balanced. And I would like you to come and start with me. So this is also going to be a little back bending, a little bit of our core workout, downward dogs, a lot of leg kicks in, a lot of crunches, bicycles, and then a little bit of a deep core work so when we start our workout we will do whatever warm-up we think really works for us if you are a beginner level you might just want to learn go very slowly so if you have been practicing yoga for, for a while and you've been watching these episodes for a while you can go ahead and practice with me so what we will do first we will come into our next stretches Now, if you think your neck is too tight, for example, when you bend to the left side, your right shoulder starts to come up. You will now take your right hand outside, so your shoulder is kind of forced to kind of bend down and settle down towards the floor. Yoga rapani pugenavane se. You will just take your hand and pull the head, gently pull the head away from your right shoulder. Gently back up whenever you're ready. We will repeat the same thing on the other side. Our left shoulder got a bell up and if it's the same thing, again, you will pull it in. And out, chin to the chest. You can take both your hands. Slowly pull the head down. And slowly when you look up to the ceiling, you're going to take your chin and look all the way up. Gently back down. What you're going to do now is you're going to start with a slow and gentle core burn. So we will come up onto our knees first. Wherever you are, you'll come up onto your knees, slowly giving your abdomen just a gentle movement. Wrist below your shoulders, knees below your hips. What you're going to do is now you're going to slowly shift all the body weight to the left side. Extend your right leg out. Hold this here first, get a little bit into the movement, push the floor away, engage your core, squeeze in, point your toes, Vistari bend the leg up and back down, all the way in, crunch, slowly back up, I'm slowing it down for you, but we will go again a little faster, come back in, squeeze, back out, come back in. Gently back down, switch sides. Come back in again, ground your palms. Right leg comes down, left leg is out straight first. Engage your core, balance again. Gently left toe is pointed, left leg goes up, bend in, come in, squeeze. Back out, come in, squeeze. Gently back down. Relax. You will now slowly come down onto your heels. Breathe through. Now gently bring your hands behind your head. Inhale, open up. Arch your back. Exhale, come in, squeeze. Inhale, back up. Exhale, come in, squeeze. Inhale, arch. Exhale, come, squeeze. Again, inhale, back up, arch. Exhale, come in, squeeze one more time. Inhale, back up and arch your back. Exhale, come in, squeeze down all the way. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gently back up, hands to the sides of the body and you relax. What you're going to do now is you're going to come back onto your tabletop again. Now gently palms down to the floor, extend your right leg outside, slowly right knee will come in, crunch to the outside, so above your elbows, back down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
and out and gently come in switch to the side moving into the other side again extend outside left knee will come outside above the left elbow slowly extend come in one two three four five six seven squeeze your core as you come in eight nine and ten slowly relax down here you can come into your child's pose if you want breathe in breathe out gently rolling down into the front open up into your cobra breathe through come back in again down let's keep that going two up in three stay here gently rolling into the front and down to the floor slowly look to the left look to the right you may also play around with the legs gently coming back up hold this here what you're going to do now is again you're going to take your hands from the sides of the body inhale up exhale down inhale back up exhale back down inhale back up exhale back down slowly one more time inhale back up exhale and down gently wherever you are come up on to your knees onto your tabletop again slowly curl the toes back up downward facing dog let's hold the down dog let's go side to side heel to toe gently inhales exhales we start we start moving the legs to side to side now what you do is you slowly come into your downward dog and we get the left heel down to the floor all the way right leg can go outside straight gently take your right leg come in squeeze out come in squeeze out come in three four five hold let's go one two three four and five gently back up downward dog slowly coming down to rest knees down to the floor open up to the side come down in to your cobra come down into your child's pose coming up from your child's pose again we repeat the same thing onto the other side whenever you're ready again from your tabletop curl your toes come back up downward dog again slowly back down onto your knees again we will now slowly flip over onto our back flip over onto your back coming down onto the back lay down extend your left leg out to the front and right knee can bend gently what you'll do hands behind the back inhale come in one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten gently hold and back down relax switching sides left leg comes up right knee goes down straight again hands behind the back one thing to keep in mind is you're looking up towards the ceiling your chin is upward and your hands are behind the nape of your neck what you're not going to do is you're not going to do this you're going to open up your elbows to the sides come up and squeeze whenever you're ready inhale in exhale one two three four five six squeeze seven eight nine and ten gently relax come back down what you're going to do now is we're going to do leg raises so wherever you are you're going to tuck your shirt in you're going to tuck your palms underneath the bum and whenever you're ready bring the legs together relax your head and shoulders down breathe in from your nose you will now do only one leg at a time first so you just try this first if this is easy for you so what you what you're going to do is when you come up you're going to squeeze when you go back down you're going to relax 
chest. You're gonna come up again, squeeze. You're gonna go back down, relax. Come back up, squeeze. Go back down, relax. Now you're going to add the other leg into the same movement. Tuck your hands down so that your hands don't move around and you get a little balance from the arms. Gently what you'll do, extend both your legs out straight up in the air. Up you go, down. Two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10, back down. Gently let your abs relax. You feel the nice burn over here. Breathe in, breathe out. If you wanna just relax the abdomen, you just take a few deep breaths. Only through the nose, keep breathing in, keep breathing out. Gently inhaling in, gently exhaling out whenever you're ready. We will now work another very nice fun flow. What you're going to do now is again, take the hands behind or underneath your glute muscles. Whenever that is done, you now extend the legs into the raises that we did again, but go sideways. So slowly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come back down. Keep going. Then again, keep repeating. If you want to take rest, you take rest with your legs up. Come back down. One more time. Whew. And gently back down. Relax. Slowly breathe through. Again, if it's too intense for your back, lower back, extend your left leg down straight. Right knee up in. Twist. Open up the hand to the side, breathe. Slowly back up into the middle, right leg back down, left knee up in, and you twist. Hold it, five, four, three, two, and one, gently coming in. So this stretch also prepared you for a little bit of a back bend. What you're going to do now is you're gonna get really comfortable onto the floor, however you like. Now, if you can do a back bend, go ahead, do a back bend. If you have arthritis, spondylitis, cervical problems, and if you think your back has um, extreme back ache -ish issue, or you have a lumbar spine problem, that means lower back muscle, you have aches and pains, you're going to avoid this, skip it. Just stay here and breathe through. A variation to this asana, if you do not want to do this wheel pose, the variation is to gently just come up here and enjoy this pose. If you're ready with this side, do the other side. This is your variation to this asana. What you're going to do now, you're going to come into the wheel pose. So whenever you're ready, you're going to extend your hands up. Now the goal of this wheel pose is to bring your hands close to your ears a little bit in towards your shoulders. Now that is how you come onto the wheel pose. There are three variations. There's an episode breakdown that we've done before. You can come onto your crown. You can use halfway up or come into fully expressed wheel pose. Now whenever you're ready, bring your palms Rotate them downwards, so now your wrist is onto the floor. Get your feet a little wide, so your hips are a little supported. Now breathe through. You're going to inhale in from your nose, into your chest and belly. Relax your back. If you're nervous, relax yourself. Take a few more deep breaths in. Whenever you're ready and you feel calm, collected and relaxed, gently again squeeze your feet down to the floor, squeeze your toes down to the floor, push your palms down in, engage your biceps, shoulders and triceps. Start to lift up from the upper body first, then engage your glute muscles and your pelvis and push up towards the ceiling. Now you may gently start to come up, inhale, exhale and start to lift up. 
Now, if you're ready, you can also come into a little bit of a deeper bend. You can hold up here. You don't have to worry about your shirt or your clothes or anything. Gently back in if you can. Slowly come down. If not, just stay up here. Slowly, gently come back down into the floor. Whenever you're ready, relax your legs. Back down in. Hold this here. Now, an anti version of the wheel, a counter pose of the version of the wheel is to do this. So if you bend backwards, you bend forwards to relax your spine. <sighs> relax in. If you want to do that a few more times, you can do that a few more times. If you want to make it a little bit more fun, you can play around and make it a little bit more fun. By more fun, what I mean is you may gently again come up into your bend all the way. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your hands to the sides of the body again. Gently breathe through, inhales, exhales, come up in all the way. Again, get comfortable, push the floor away, bring your hands close to your ears and the sides of your shoulders. Gently inhale in, press your feet down to the floor, slowly back up. This time you may come in, walk all the way, walk your legs also outside. Straighten out your legs, push the palms in, hold. Gently back down to the floor and in again. Relax your belly, breathe through, again back in and relax. You may just chill out here. If that was too much for your back, you can just relax. Whenever you feel okay, you may now gently again come up into your boat pose. So we do the boat pose quite often. You're going to do the boat pose again. So whenever you're ready, you're going to engage your core. Slowly relax, take a deep breath in. Bring the knees up and gently extend your legs up. Squeeze up and hold. Stay here. Again, let's go one, up, two, up, three, up, four, five, six, keep moving, eight, nine, and 10. Hold it here, relax. Now what you're gonna do is come down in to the butterfly. Take your hands underneath your feet, sit up straight. Sit up straight whenever you're ready. Gently what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down, one, and up, two, or the last exercise that you can do is you're gonna come into the middle of the mat. You can get a water bottle, you can hold a water bottle, you can hold anything in your hand, whatever it is that you like. Then you can come up. Now what you can do is come up into the boat pose variation again. Take the legs out straight, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna come and touch, touch down. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Gently back up in, relax in to your butterfly. Whew, that was intense, breathe through. And now just relax and chill out to end it. Gently come down in. You can also bring your hands down into the forearms and relax. Slowly come back up. You may practice your pranayam in this position over here, or you may just call it the day, roll your mat, and then move on with your day, whatever feels okay. This was a nice intense core burst. This will give you a nice movement and strengthening of your core, your glutes and your ab muscles. Not complicity, when I say abs, you have to have the six pack abs. When I say abs, it just means your abdomen is a little strong. You do not even have to have like a nice toned belly. Working abs means you're just making the abdominal muscles strong. The abdominal muscles are used, they use to keep all your inner organs inside nicely and safely your ribs are there to protect your lungs so if at some point you feel like you need to have that kind of a physique that is just a little aesthetic purpose and also if you're really fit if you work out you lift weights you do body weight exercises you will automatically somehow get a little toned muscle you will gain muscle you'll become stronger the goal is to become stronger and not to focus too much about the aesthetics because when you are strong 
The aesthetics don't really matter because now you can do more than somebody with just abs, right? You can practice a little bit more. Now, when you start with this body weight exercises, they're very close to something we call Pilates. They're also yoga asanas, but yoga asanas made into a workout. So you can practice your asana practice and kind of make it a little bit more into, into Pilates and functional fitness. So you can add these two together and make a nice workout for yourself. You don't even have to hit the gym. You can just take 20 minutes a day and just work it out and just move your body if that is what you feel suits your lifestyle the best. So I hope you kind of enjoyed this stretch and I hope you enjoyed this little core blast for you early in the morning. I hope you have a very nice day ahead. I will see you again soon tomorrow. Have a nice day ahead.